Hi guys, uh, Chris at Cork and Crown. Going to try a cider I've been looking forward to actually. Um, it's the Bull Hayes 2003. So it's pretty, got a bit of age in it for a cider. Um, we did the 2013 and the 2014 already. I was waiting for the 2003 to arrive. It's now arrived. So I'm going to open up and try it. Um, so champagne method, traditional method. Uh, so two fermentations in bottle. Uh, I suspect they're using champagne yeast, which is quite neutral. Um, I think they're using um, cider apples though, um, as opposed to the gospel green we tried, which used culinary apples, which I felt was a little bit austere, didn't have much going on. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna crack it open and try it. It's getting a bit dark actually. I started a bit later than I intended to. Well, let's see if this one opens all right. Sorry if I flinch, but I've had a few of these go off in my face before, so let's see if I can get it all in the bottle. Let's see if I can get it all in the glass. Okay, did spread all over the place. That's good. Okay, let's pour it out. I mean, already it's a pretty nice colour on this, I'd say. Almost looks like slightly rosé, rosé slash iron brew. It's a nice combination, isn't it? show you the bottle there so you can see so there it is bottle here is 2003 and there's the colour I was talking about lift up my uh, swirling mat to give you something you can see there you go so yeah it is a bit um look at this pink there subtle pinkness to it um but yeah iron brew tizer is what I want to say um if it tastes like that, I'd be quite happy, actually. Uh, actually, I won't for the price, but you know, not bad flavour. Fine mousse on there. So we're talking about these sort of bottle-conditioned um, ciders, um, traditional method ciders. You get this real fine mousse and these real fantastic bubbles on the top. It is a gorgeous-looking thing, isn't it? Okay, let's give it a sniff. It smells fresh as a daisy. It does not feel in any way jaded. By its 17 years. Um, smells. I mean, it smells. It is like a rich, ripe apple for sure. Aged. Um, but you know, fresh, clean. Not getting much pastry, a little bit of spiciness possibly in there. Yeah, smells good. Let's give it a test. Cheers. Bone dry. Nice tannin coming through on the on the in texture, the stringency. But also on the back as well, you know, um, that leatheriness I talk about when I talk about tannins. We're not overpowering. Um, there's a subtly baked character about this one, which I think the other ones lacked. There's a lot of things going on in this, a lot of things going on, but it's not a hint of sugar bone dry, quite leathery. Um, the back of my nose, now I'm getting that ripe aged bruised apple character, which I like very much. Really nice. Um, the nose is incredible. I mean, it's like intense, maybe a hint of, no, I want to say orange, but it's not. It's like apple pie. And it is like demerara sugar, apple pie, that kind of maybe hint of van vanilla, and I'm getting that sort of Calvados sort of character as well coming through, which I like a lot. Man, the nose is incredible. The nose on this is much more interesting than on the last two. It really is. I want to get it warmed up a bit because I think I'll have more going on. Um, yeah, 
kind of what I paid. Not extortionate. Definitely not extortionate. Um, yeah, this is really interesting. 8.4%. I don't know if you can see, but I can see the legs on this. It's got some viscosity as well. It's got a bit of alcohol in it, but still only 8.4. So you're looking at, you know, if we're talking about wine, you'd be looking at like Riesling sort of levels of alcohol, you know, German Rieslings. So much more baked apple on the nose and on the palate, really drying the palate, austere, but there's a richness about it. There's no sugar, but there's a lot of fruit there. Loads of body because of the tannin. Really interesting. I've got two bottles, which is quite a good. I'm going to look forward to having the next one. I would actually suggest having it a bit warmer than I've had it. But when you're opening these sorts of um, champagne methods, traditional method, wines or ciders, you, you want to get them chilled because you don't want them exploding because obviously the, the more what heat that's in there, then the, the, you know, the, the more explosive the bottle's going to be when you open it. You don't want it going all over the place. Um, actually, I could have had that a bit more chilled down though. Really interesting. Yeah. So I'm going to um, sit and pontificate on this for the rest of the evening. My wife will enjoy that. Um, I hope you got something from that. I certainly did. Um, I might try and pick some of this up. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to try and pick some of this up to sell some cases of POS. All right, cool. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you again. Cheers.